What does that mean? It's just a picture. Are we supposed to meet someone there? It's like one of those messages a kidnapper sends in a horror movie. That's enough of that. Come on, let's go. Chingcha, we'll be fossils by the time you're finished. I heard there was a disaster in the Divination Commission's delve. I'm surprised you're in the mood to play right now, Chingchua. Even if the sky was gonna collapse on the Divination Commission, the Master Diviner would be there to hold it up. What she lacks in height, she more than makes up for in stamina. Anyway, I didn't come here just to play. She ordered me to wait here for our guests. Time is precious. I'm simply multitasking. It's the place in the photo, all right. Is this a games parlor? Uh, what kind of problem can they possibly be facing? <laughs> Isn't this hand a problem? I have the worst luck. Oh, hi there! I can tell just by looking at you that you're the Divination Commission's guests. Uh, I know, I know, I'm sorry. I was going to wait for you by the statue, but... Ah! Triplet! Uh, but folks from the Realm Keeping Commission descended on the area. It's too loud over there now. So I thought to myself, wouldn't it be better to meet somewhere quieter? Four of a kind! And wouldn't that be more fun, too? Better to show you the real Exalting Sanctum and introduce you to a true Sianjo pastime, Celestial Jade! Ha -ha! Victory! <laughs> <sighs> now that my wish has been fulfilled, there's nothing holding us back. Follow me, honored guests. I must apologize for your long wait, honored guests. It wasn't too long. Seeing your enthusiasm for this Celestial Jade game has stoked my curiosity. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. You clearly have... Ah, oh, look. Is that a... It's an ancient tree. We call it the Ambrosial Arbor. It was once the Sienjo Lafu's prized treasure. I didn't know the Skyfaring Commission were history buffs. Not bad. Younger generations usually don't know much about it. It's said that the Ambrosial Arbor is an ancient remnant from where the Sienjo roamed the ether. From a distance, it looks like half a tree stump. But according to records of the early nation, in its prime, it wound into the heavens and from it celestial bodies hung. Meaning? It means the tree was as tall as the sky and stars hung from its branches. So, how big was it? Bigger than the Express? Bigger than Herta Space Station? No, that can't be right. Stars hung from its branches. Then, how did it fit in the Sienjo? Exactly. Let's just say it was bigger than your imagination. Anyway, it's just a legend. I see this view every day on my way to work. I'm kind of bored of it. Let's go.
I don't believe in Need your extractor clean to your stars. We're almost there, everyone. Stay close. Just a heads up, please don't go running off once we're inside. You may be the Master Diviner's guests, but she hates people who don't abide by rules and regulations. Oh, and people who ask too many questions, not to mention... Please, don't push her buttons. We're just here for the questioning. We'll leave as soon as it's over. Begin. Pretty good crowd today. Turn it up. Want to see what I can do? Time for a shot. <laughs> Now, that's the power of the house. Get it now? That's the power of the Cloud Knights. So strange. Oh, let me guess. The gate isn't working? I don't understand. It's never been locked before. And no one told me to take a key. Hey! I know the food here sucks, but that's no reason to shut the gate on our guests! Are you really from the Divination Commission? No way. She's already demoted me to managing the repository. What else does she want from me? There's no need to panic, okay? This isn't the only entrance into the Divination Commission. I know an emergency access. Here it is. You seem here pretty sharp. Divination com Ugh, Stellaron corrosion. What's going on? Great. This gate won't open either. We've kept the Master Diviner waiting. No doubt she'll blame unreliable Chinja for messing up once again. I knew I'd offended that Diviner. That's why she sent this girl to help us. Miss Chinja. If you don't mind, may I take a look? Huh? Oh, uh, no need. Actually, I was just being polite. I don't see why not. Let me show you. This thing is pretty fun. Amazing, Mr. Yang. You handled that well for an outsider. I officially hand over the title of Keeper of the Loafing Gate T. Uh, anyone here surprised? Anyone? Here comes trouble. Uh, can't we run around to them for a change? This song's for you. Turn it up! 
Wanna see what I can do? <laughs> Let's begin. <laughs> Time for the main event. Keep up! The galaxy is vast beyond compare. Pretty good crowd today. Keep up! Wanna see what I can do? Dodge this! Naughty child. <laughs> to me. Stand down. <laughs> the galaxy is vast beyond compare. large-scale Jade Abacus Calculation Terminal. It's the pride and joy of the Divination Commission. <clears throat> We've heard the term Jade Abacus a few times now. Would you mind explaining what it is, Miss Chingchue? A Jade Abacus is just... a Jade Abacus. <sighs> That's a good question, Mr. Yang. It might take me a minute to give you an answer. Let me think. The book, Glimpses into the Beyond, describes it as living jade engraved with symbols for divination into the unknown. Just like engraving a seal, the craftsmen of the Sianzhou Artisanship Commission carve faint symbols into pieces of jade and then insert them into machines to get them to operate according to a certain intention. Some jade abacuses are small enough to fit inside bracelets and jewelry, we put the bigger ones into instruments of calculation, so we can simulate the future and learn from the past. Take the Matrix of Prescience here as an example. As long as sufficient information is provided, it can answer questions on anything. From the evolution of natural phenomena to the metabolism of living things. They say the theory behind the symbols was handed down by Noose, the Wisdom Walker. The principles are so profound that in the Divination Commission, only the Master Diviner truly understands them. It sounds like similar technology. Maybe we'll get a better understanding if we see the manufacturing process with our own eyes. I'm afraid that's impossible. The Artisanship Commission's Hall of Jadeology keeps a close watch over the jade carving process. But if you're interested, there's a shop selling jade abacus jewelry in Starskiff Haven. I can show you around when I'm free. <laughs> Did you hear that? 
She said she's taking Mr. Yang jewelry shopping. <laughs> That'll be interesting. Anyway, don't dwell on names. As long as the machine works, what does it matter whether it's a jade abacus or a computer? Just like today, would it have mattered if Bai Chue had brought you here instead of Ching Chue? It makes no difference at all. We're almost at the Matrix of Prescience Core. The Master Diviner should be waiting. Diviner Fu, how are things progressing? We are fluctuating between the Heaven and Thunder trigrams. A step forward bridges no distance hence. And for those who don't speak, Fu Shen? <clears throat> it's an utter disaster. How's that for a Divination Commission fortune? The Matrix of Prescience has stopped operating, and the symbols have dimmed. There are Stellaron spirits wreaking havoc inside the Commission, and the Cloud Knights are struggling to protect civilians. I want to restore the Matrix of Prescience, but I have no forces available. And on top of all of that, General, we still have to deal with the Stellaron Hunter you handed to us. If that's not an utter disaster, then I don't know what is. <laughs> but your Fu Shen, the Seer, the boundless, omniscient, Bringing luck and avoiding misfortune is your strong suit, isn't it? You don't need to flatter me, General. It's natural for fortune to fluctuate. There's no escaping it. The Divination Commission simply does its best to uncover the good and the bad and then make the right decisions. We have no magical means to turn the tide. And that is precisely why we need you in charge. When it comes to handling clairvoyant Stellaron hunters, who better than Fu Shen the Seer? As for reinforcements, you didn't think I'd be unprepared, did you? Look, help has just arrived. Master Diviner, I brought you the guests. Though, it wasn't your order I received. <sighs> so general. Even guests are on the payroll these days? Well, since they're here already, I may as well make use of them. Entering the Matrix of Prescience without my permission is a breach of protocol. <sighs> Would be an ungracious thing to say in the present circumstances. I admit I'm pleasantly surprised to see you here. Chinchua is often unreliable, but she comes through for us when the need arises. It's nice to have people I can entrust with difficult matters. I'm not like the General, and you don't even belong to my commission. I certainly won't be bossing you around. No need for the formalities. We heard what the General said. If you need something from us, just say the word. Very well, then I'll keep this brief. The Divination Commission is currently understaffed. I need your help to restart the Matrix of Prescience space terminals and eliminate the Stellaron spirits along the way. Xing Chue will accompany you. She'll be in charge of restarting the terminal. As for eliminating the spirits... Psst! <clears throat> I hath divined our future! We are destined to be errand runners. Forever. What? Which magic word? Ah, the universal one? Please? Oh. Uh, please. Ah, oh, good enough.
Let me see. This is the temporal terminal. Observes the potential of the temporal plane. They say this terminal is designed to retrieve information related to time. Should do it. <laughs> what? You just matched up those symbols. Is that it? The more complex something is, the more important it is to keep it simple. Don't you think? Huh, if it's so simple, why didn't your master diviner come and do it herself? <laughs> Maybe deep down she just wants to be lazy once in a while. Like me. What the heck is this? It looks like a walking gate. Take it easy. There's nothing supernatural on the CN Joe. It's an aromaton. It's guarding the Matrix of Prescience. They're stationed at various strategic places. Uh, 
I feel like it needs a sign saying mortals forbidden or something. Are you sure it won't fly into a rage if we walk past it? We're here by order of the Master Diviner to restart the Matrix of Prescience. Friends, not foes. Passage prohibited. Uh, March! You should join the Divination Commission. Quick, do something! Here to crash the party? Want to see what I can do? Dodge this! <laughs> Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it! must be the spatial terminal. They say this terminal is designed to retrieve information related to space. You probably could have guessed that. Next.
Pretty good crowd today. Turn it up! Wanna see what I can do? Time for a shot. Next time. Leave it to me. No. You know nothing of the survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Keep up. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it. Or rock with it. Naughty child. <laughs> Stand down. This song's for you. Let's go. <laughs> time for a nap time. What? Hmm. what? Pretty good crowd today. Turn it up! Songs for you. Let's rock. Let me through. Stop this. Naughty child. Nap time. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it. Or rock with it. Just in time. Just a little something. Think nothing of you. Timely treatment. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> time for a shot. <laughs> Let's begin. Let's rock. Wanna see what I can do? Dodge this! <laughs> Turn it up. You know nothing of the survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. No more play. 
playing nice. Dodge this! Nap time. <laughs> Let me through! Pretty good crowd today. Ready to lose your sub? You can fight it, or rock with it! The galaxy is vast beyond compare. Here to crash the party? Turn it up! Naughty child. Ready to lose your son? You can fight it, or rock with it! Just in time. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. You're the best. Dodge this! Take this! Shape of Tai Surprise! Beat it! Freezer. <laughs> 
Well, let me guess. Time, space... I bet the next terminal is energy-related. Darn, the Karma Terminal. They say this terminal is designed to establish causal relationships. Did it. All three terminals activated. Let's go back to the core and report to the Master Diviner. Well done, all of you. I can sense the Matrix of Prescient Symbols re-illuminating. Now, to interrogate Kafka. Those of you in the core may feel a few... impacts. Are you ready? <laughs> Is this really necessary? I said I'd cooperate with you. I have no interest in the words of wanted criminals, especially those skilled in the art of manipulation. So, say what you will. I'm here to witness the divination of the Matrix of Prescience. The Divination Commission has ways of extracting the truth, and they're far more effective than a conversation. Then please, Master Diviner. Witness my destiny. you were expecting. I can't believe it. But the Matrix of Prescience cannot be wrong. Kafka has nothing to do with Estelaron, but you... It's you. Absurd! I'd never have thought it. Ask her yourself. Take as long as you wish. I must report this to the 
General, immediately. Please excuse me. You go ask her. I know you, you still have many questions for Kafka yourself. a bit. I'm sorry you have to see me in such a sorry state. Hmm. Concerned about me? I'm fine. The CN joke was always courteous with its captives. I didn't talk to you you on the train because I knew you and I would get to talk alone here. Worth waiting for, don't you think? You seem to have a lot to ask me. Elio said he foresaw three questions, but they would be the same in essence. If I were to hear one of them, I would then tell you the, the objective of this trip in all its detail. Since you asked one of the th three questions, it means everything it is going smoothly. Are you ready to hear my answer? The Enjo Stellar on problem is not, not directly linked to us. But if you look, look at it from, from Elio's perspective, you can't say the Stellar on hunters are completely innocent. We foresaw all, all this long, long ago, but chose to remain indifferent until the time was, was right for us us to get involved. Diviner Fu was surprised because she discovered three truths. One, the Stellaron hunters are not enemies of the Sienjo. You know this now, though you refuse to believe it. Two, someone else brought the Stellaron on into the Sienjo and activated it. A result of both internal unrest and ex external aggression. Traitors on the Lafu and enemies from outside want to overthrow the Sienjo. The Master Diviner is in a hurry to find the General. Presumably, to inform him of this fact. However, that's all the Master Diviner knows. Because Elio withheld key pieces of information from me. He foresaw the Divination Commission using the Matrix of Prescience against me. To guard against setbacks, he, he ensured that I knew only what he wanted this Sienjo Alliance to know in this moment. As for number three, even in their wildest dreams, the Sienjo Alliance could never have guessed it. <laughs> If the Stellaron Hunters aren't the cause of all this, then why are Blady and I even here? We're here for you. It's 
sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? It's no wonder Fushen doesn't believe it either. But the Matrix of Prescience doesn't lie. The answer is just that bizarre. The Stellaron Hunters appearing here, Blady getting arrested, me being lured to the Matrix of Prescience. It was all to bring you, the Astral Express crew, to the Cienjo. In the future that Elio chose, the power of the hunt is indispensable. And that's why the Astral Express crew had to come to the La Fu and achieve something important for the Cienjo. You had to establish a connection with the Alliance. And... That's why I had to trick you into coming here. <laughs> I needed you to meet the Lafu's general in person and, and to help him resolve the Stellaron crisis. I needed the Alliance to owe you a favor. That way, in the future, at the most critical moment, the Cienjo will offer you you their help. What do you think? Surprised? The notorious Stellaron hunters did all, all that just to make you a hero of the Cienjo? Quite the plot twist, don't you think? Like I said, Elio withheld key pieces of information from me. The future holds endless possibilities. Knowing the right thing at the wrong time could spoil all our hard work. There is only one thing I can tell you about the future. In the best and the worst cases, you will eventually have to face Nanook the Destruction. And when that time comes, you will need all the help you can get. It will be a brutal struggle of Vionic proportions. Proportions that neither you nor I nor the Astral Express will ever be able to read. In the vast majority of futures, that's when destiny ends. But, if we follow Elio's plan, there may be a glimmer of hope on the horizon. You know, even eons can be killed. Locha, hey, you didn't finish telling us about the propagation. Keep going, it's interesting. So, eons can die, huh? Weird. I thought they were invincible. <laughs> there is no true invincibility or immortality in the world. Such exaggerations are born of the perspectives of ordinary beings. Nonetheless, Ordinary beings could not have orchestrated the fall of the propagation. That eon was slain at the hands of another eon. I don't understand. They're all eons. Why do they want to fight? You... Are you really from the Sienjo? Other eons aside, surely you must know the story of Lan and Yaosha. 
Isn't destroying the Eon Yausha the Alliance's cherished aim? Of course I know. Well, I, I know a little. My mom made me practice with swords all day. I, I didn't really go to school. In that case, let's just change the subject. If you don't know about the feud between the hunt and the abundance, I'm afraid there's just too much to explain. Fine. How's this for a subject? What's in the box? Oh, this one? <laughs> it's a casket, more commonly known as a coffin. It's for containing the remains of the deceased. The deceased? Aren't you a merchant? Yes, indeed. This is just part of my job. I was asked to deliver this coffin to the Xianzhou. Ah, uh, I'd quite forgotten. For long life species, death is probably a distant concept. Nope. The Cloud Knights spend a lot of time on the battlefield. Death is a common occurrence. It's just, we don't put bodies in boxes. Uh, coffins. In the Sienjo, people go to the Hall of Karma in the Ten Lords Commission and consecrate the names and jade abacuses of the dead. And that's our way of saying goodbye. The Foxians and the Vidyodora have their own ceremonies. Foxian soldiers place their dead in star's gifts and then let them drift out into the stars. They call it the returning. As for the Vidyodora, they're more mysterious. They say that when a Vidyodora is very old or has a fatal injury, they turn into an egg that looks like a pearl. And when the shell breaks, they come out looking young again. My mom calls the Vidyodora Long Scions. When I was young, she told me stories of how the Vidyodora could turn into dragons. I don't know if that's true. What do you know? Silent but deadly speaks. Your mother is right. The Vidyadava are long scions. They are descendants of the Eon of Permanence. That was why some, but not all, could turn into dragons. The power was a rare inheritance, passed down only to those who could successfully complete numerous rites and challenges. For the inheritor, it was hard to say whether it was a blessing or a curse. Ah, I've heard the story of Long the Permanence and their descendants. Many myths and legends praise the Eon for a rich and immortal life. But for some reason, the Eon disappeared among the stars without a trace. Almost as if they had never existed, leaving only their descendants. Every life has its limit. Even the eons are not truly immortal, and will eventually reach the end of their lives. Uh, let me ask you one more question. Do you know the person in the coffin? <laughs> yes. A friend? No. So, uh, the sweetheart? <laughs> oh, miss, whatever gave you that impression? The individual in the coffin is neither friend nor relative. We met only once. By chance, I made someone a promise, and so I have to run this errand. Let's leave it at that, shall we? I think we've all had enough rest.
What was that? You could yeah. have no interest in conflict. Struck. It looks like someone's hurt. Wait. Let's think before we act. <laughs> Silent but deadly. Locha, let's charge in together. If we take them out quickly, we can rescue the girl. <laughs> what happened to us letting you handle it? I've only got two hands. Please, I'll wangle you a prize for your bravery or something when it's all over. Enough. Let's go. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Huge! <laughs> Eternal stay. The dead returns! any blood so I, I thought you were okay you're a puppet my motor is broken I can't move are you a cloud knight good take me to the realm keeping commission I uh... locha silent but deadly I'm afraid we have to delay things again. This lady is one of the judges of the Ten Lords Commission. As a Cloud Knight, I must prioritize her orders. I'm sorry. If I'd known, I wouldn't have got you to come with me. You'd probably be there by now if you'd gone by yourself. I happen to have some medical knowledge. Perhaps I can treat the young lady's injuries? Well, it's just... She's a puppet. I think we should just take her to the Realm Keeping Commission. Don't worry, Miss Sushang. Leave it to me. You might get an aching or numbing sensation, but it shouldn't be too painful. Do you think you can hold still? It won't work. My body is mechanical, not flesh and blood. Be it mechanical or organic, we're still dealing with composite substances. I just hope you'll tolerate my methods. <sighs> huh. Curious. How... 
what kind of medical knowledge is this? Abundance. Hmm. Hmm. Very good. We, uh, no longer need to return to the Realm Keeping Commission. The mission continues. As a judge in the employ of the Ten Lords Commission, I am forbidden from interfering in the affairs of outsiders. However, seeing as you came to my aid, a word of advice. Leave as soon as possible. I came to address the root of our crisis by arresting a fugitive, a Stellaron hunter. This villain possesses exceptional swordsmanship and wields a divine weapon. They are extremely dangerous. Huh. If it hadn't been for a strange accident, my wake span might have been cut short. Strange... accident? Huh. Come with me. I've never seen anything like it. You know, even eons can be killed. Is it so unthinkable? There are many stories about fallen eons. Lon the Permanence, Idrilla the Beauty, Anna the Order, Tazeronth the Propagation, Akivili the Trailblaze. Hmm? These names were once known all over the universe. Now they've all but disappeared, leaving behind only masterless paths. Currently, there are three ways an eon can perish known to humanity. One, paths with overlapping concepts will eventually collide, and the broader path will engulf the narrower one. That's how Enna the Order was assimilated by Shipe the Harmony. Two, in a war between eons, the stronger side will annihilate the weaker one. That's how tastes are on the propagation fell. Under the guidance of the hunt, the Cienjo Alliance tra travels the universe, exterminating abominations cultivated by the, the abundance. So, the Cien and Joe, too, are engaged in this process. Uh, as far as I know, the predecessors of the Alliance were the Elixir Seekers. They searched for Yao Sure, and longed for the blessing of immortality. When they eventually found the Eon, they received a blessing that did indeed prevent death. The, the Ambrosial Arbor. But immortality turned out to be a curse for the Cienjo. That's when the hunt appeared. Firing an arrow and felling the Ambrosial Arbor. Ever since, the Alliance has followed the hunt in pursuit of Yaoshu, erasing the curse of immortality from the universe along the way. What do you th think? Fascinating story. Story is now. <laughs> there, 
are the kind of stories that, that folks on the straight and narrow would never tell you. Hold on. Any minute now. <laughs> it's begun. Let's go, Blady. Two more places to visit. <laughs> What she said is true. We won't have to explain anything. Hey, did she brainwash you? Wasn't this the dead tree Ching Chue showed us earlier? How did it grow all of a sudden? Oh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Even the long-lived might not witness something like this in their lifetime. I'm so lucky. Such extraordinary energy. It's the Stellaron. Mr. Yang... Do you mean the Stellaron is making the Ambrosial Arbor grow? Yes, the Stellaron the Cloud Knights are searching for must be causing this anomaly. Unless Kafka deceived the Matrix of Prescience. Stay calm, Diviner Fu. The Matrix of Prescience does not lie. The logic you have laid out concerning Kafka makes sense. It has helped me to fill in another piece of the puzzle. I agree there is a hostile external force at work on the Lo Fu. The Stellaron didn't appear out of thin air. Someone managed to sneak it onto the ship. As for the culprits behind the Lo Fu's internal strife, I believe we are dealing with the so-called Disciples of Sanctus Medicus, that shadowy organization of the denizens of abundance. Kafka's revelations confirm my suspicions. You... General, when did you have these suspicions? The moment the planter of the Stellaron revealed themselves. The Sienjo has the blessing of the Rainbow Arbiter, and only another Eon Emanator would be capable of sneaking onto this ship without my knowing. 
We are dealing with an external threat. The Stellaron corrosion continues to flood into the ship. And yet it bypassed both the seat of divine foresight and the shackling prison. There is forethought here. Our enemy must have had access to Lafu intelligence for things to unfold in this way. It is evident now. The Stellaron hunters aren't the ones behind the curtain. No. As soon as I set eyes on Blade, it was clear to me. But why is he here? And why did he draw the Astral Express? Hm. That piece of the puzzle still eludes me. Nevertheless, Lady Fu, your intel means the puzzle is more complete than it was before. <laughs> These Stellaron hunters are a captivating group. Such lengths to get the Sienjo and the Express onto the same track. <laughs> Who would have believed it? General, we must retain all urgency. The Ambrosial Arbor. It's the Stellaron. No need to search high and low. The traitors have planted it in the Ambrosial Arbor's delve, thereby causing the tree to grow once again. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus couldn't hold off any longer. Every crisis is a turning point. A problem is easier to resolve when you know where it lies. Am I coming up with a plan again? Of course. I'm sure you have a countermeasure at the ready, Master Diviner. From my perspective, Convening the Cloud Knights is our immediate priority. We must head into the roots of the Ambrosial Arbor, expel the Stellaron spirits, and prevent the Arbor's resurrection. Mmm, as ever the Master Diviner's Omnisha provides for the fastest solution. However, sometimes speed is not everything. I have known the Stellaron's location for a while now. So why have I held back our forces? General? Well? You're a scoundrel. <laughs> Pulling up the grass requires removing the roots. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus have chosen to make their move now. Which means the Cloud Knights have the situation under control and the traitors have run out of patience. Now is the time to capture them all in one fell swoop. You've been sitting on that this whole time? How will you justify the losses if something goes wrong, General? Please, Lady Fu. I still have forces to deploy. We were in need of extra hands, and the Stellaron Hunters were kind enough to bring us together with the Astral Express. How could I look the other way? tree has suddenly sprung to life it's my fault I had higher expectations of the general please we can't keep getting them to do everything for us since when did we run out of people on the law foo you why are you staring at me do I need to remind you general that the ambrosial arbor's access point is a closely guarded secret Allowing outworlders would be... A violation of the rules and regulations. I would like to remind you, Lady Fu, that the Sienjo comes before its rules and regulations, all the more so in times of crisis. As such, I am about to make a decision that runs counter to those rules and regulations. Oh, uh, decisions plural. <laughs> what a rare pleasure. Lady Fu? I hereby issue you with the military tally. The Cloud Knights will be under your control. You will act in concert with the other forces in the approach to the Ambrosial Arbor through the Alchemy Commission Delve. Under... my control? You've been eager to discover for yourself what it is to be a general, have you not? You've never given me the opportunity and now suddenly... <clears throat> Understood. As you wish. 
As for our astral friends, I hereby formally welcome you all to join our operation to seal the Stellaron. Lady Fu will deploy the Cloud Knights, but I would like you to set off in advance. Take a shortcut through the Artisanship Commission and convene with Lady Fu further down the line. This is no order, honored guests. I am merely stating what needs to be done, should you wish to help us. You've never really seen us as outsiders, huh? Miss Tingyun, I would like you to continue to serve as a guide for our astral friends. Oh, of course, General. I am duty-bound. A step forward bridges no distance hence. Uh, the hexagram was right. The ambrosial arbor was felled thousands of years ago. Now it returns to life. The future of the Sienjo is difficult to define. I had long anticipated it. Huh? She's not angry? Uh, is there anyone that isn't two steps ahead of us around here? Pursuing Kafka is a waste of time and effort. The Matrix of Prescience informed me of her innocence. Our priority is the Ambrosial Arbor. A step forward bridges no distance hence. The Ambrosial Arbor was felled thousands of years ago. Now... I had long anticipated... Huh? Pursuing Kafka... From the time the Stellaron corrosion began to spread until now, the only reports we've received on the Alchemy Commission have come from alchemists and doctors stationed in other delves. The Alchemy Commission is where the Sienjo's medical research and production take place. However, due to its proximity to the Ambrosial Arbor's seal, I'm afraid the Stellaron Spears may have plunged it into a deeper crisis than we first feared. To make matters worse, the General suspects there are traitors in the Alchemy Commission. The self-proclaimed disciples of Sanctus Medicus have been plotting this for a long time. And now they're using the location to their advantage. I must take action as soon as possible. He really is a delegator at heart, isn't he? There isn't much distance between the Artisanship and Alchemy Commissions. I'm afraid the former is likely also facing imminent catastrophe. The Star Skiff is ready. I will lead the way. I still have important tasks from the General to attend to. Go carefully, all of you. Uh, wait, wait! Master Diviner! Can you... divine our fortunes for us? Is there anything we need to watch out for? No need. My Omnisha has seen that your journey will be auspicious. Everything will proceed smoothly. Uh, are you sure? You don't need to use a crazy device or do more finger counting? Well said. Thank you for your assurance, Master Diviner. Onward.
Look at all the people gathered here. <sighs> Not a good day for commuting on the Lafu. The Artisanship Commission Delve should have suspended operations after the Stellaron corrosion began. Why haven't these people taken Stars gifts to safety? Maybe the Artisanship Commission are just more dedicated to their work? The Divination Commission's diviners aren't exactly a hard act to follow. <sighs> At the end of the day, work is work. You need it to live. You know, March, adults forget what relaxation means after a certain age. <laughs> Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Just speaking from the heart, that's all. I think they call that complaining from the heart. Are any of the paths in this world easy to tread? The Artisanship Commission is full of workshops, building state-of-the-art mechanisms, and craftsmen designing brand new concepts. Periodically stirring up trouble is part of their tradition. Entire buildings vanishing into thin air, puppet riots, you get the picture. It seems like the craftsmen are too afraid to go in, but they have nowhere to run to either. We should take care, benefactors. Something terrible must have happened. Either way, we'll have to go in. Let's ask around first. <laughs> 